Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to uh, take a break from all of the national news that's going on and answer a question about Garth Brooks's new place opening up in Nashville. Um, I, this is a topic that I have been over before, but this question and the way it was phrased was just way too good to pass up. Uh, I will have a video down below that y'all might find interesting. Okay, so here's the question. I know Garth Brooks is kind of liberal, but you always say going woke is really just capitalism. Please explain to me how his new gay bar <laughs> is good capitalism in Nashville. He's just walking into a firestorm for no reason. How is this good for his brand? Okay, first to clarify something, it's not a gay bar. He's not opening up a gay bar. That's not what's happening. Um, he's just opening up a place where he expects people to have manners. That's it. That's it. He wants people to have good manners. His words, I want it to be a place you feel safe in. I want it to be a place where you feel like there are manners and people like one another. Love your neighbor. It's all he's asking. It seems like that should go over in Tennessee, in Nashville, right? Except among a certain group. Okay. He also said, and this is what drove this question and sent everybody out calling him woke. And yes, we're going to serve every brand of beer. We just are. It's not our decision to make. Our thing is this. If you are let into our house, love one another. Again, love your neighbor. Seems like a pretty simple request. Seems like something that should be easy to honor in the very Christian state of Tennessee. And he also said that it I mean, basically, if you didn't like it, well, there's plenty of other places on Lower Broadway and you can go somewhere else. Um, yeah, that's that's Garth Brooks. Okay, how's it bad for his brand or how's it good for his brand? He's Garth Brooks. He, he doesn't need to worry about his brand. Aside from that, this has always been his brand. Always. Always. He's just walking into a firestorm for no reason. I mean, I get it. He does. He risks the tables being turned. I get it. Because there might be a very, very small group of people that can make a lot of noise, and he ends up getting burned. I get it. It could happen. And on some note, he's not walking into a firestorm. I mean, he's straight up dancing in it, right? <laughs> I mean, he's picking the one spot where there, there very well might be some pushback. Why would he do that? Because that's who he's always been. He, he's probably unable to resist the slightest chance that might exist. And on that forsake it all. He probably feels like life is not tried it is merely survived if you're standing outside the fire. 30 years this man has been telling you who he is. He is super woke. He was woke before that was a term that was used in that way. He was an ally before it was used in that way. This man advocated for marriage equality in country music in the 90s. 30 years he's been telling you who he is. And every once in a while, somebody wants to provoke some outrage for clicks, and they throw it out there that he's gone woke. This is the second video I've made talking about him suddenly going woke. He's always been like this. Always. And as far as his brand, he is Garth Brooks. If a whole bunch of bigots don't want to come to his place, I promise you, he, he's not going to lose any sleep over it. It's good capitalism because as 
did y'all hear the thunder roll? <laughs> the, uh, as society moves forward, the population of people that are accepting, they far outweigh those that are bigoted. Those people who would avoid his place because of the type of drinks they serve or that he wants everybody to be nice to each other, that demographic is shrinking. Those people who want people to be nice to each other, those people who espouse that Christian value of love your neighbor, even though they may not be Christian, that's a growing demographic. It's a growing market. He is one of the biggest brands in country music. I don't think that he needs assistance from people who outrage farm on Twitter. I don't think he needs that advice. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.